Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Mike with Skylander Nuts, and today I'm going to continue my walkthrough of Skylander's Giants. Now today we're going to be going through Chapter 9, which is called Chaos's Castle. And the very first time I played through Giants, you know, you get to this level and you're like, man, I'm already at Chaos's Castle. Wow, this is a short game. This game's going to be over soon. This must be the final battle. But it's not. It's just basically the start of the second half of the game. So, let me go ahead and put on, uh, let's see, I'm going to try Trigger Happy today. And we'll get this level started. Alright, so, beaten Troll Home Security, got our Willikin on board, let's go, uh, let's go talk to Flynn, let's start this level. We're closing in on Chaos's newly unprotected castle now, ready to drop in on that little creep? Aces, can't wait to settle the score with him. So this is where that Chaos freak grew up. Seems normal enough. Thinking you could try the front door here. Sure, it's the more dangerous way. But while the guards are busy with you, Kelly and I will look for another way in. Good luck, Chief. See you soon, I hope. Alright. Now, this level is mm, fairly straightforward, but there are some areas where you can miss pretty easily, especially if it's your first time playing the level. Uh, a lot of times... You you might not know what door to go in, or what door is the main door, or what door is the side quest door. But basically, if you can explore everything, you'll pretty much find everything. Alright, let's see. Trigger Happy, shooting his armor copies. He's pretty good. He's a level 9. I don't know why he's so low. We typically, like, using Trigger Happy. What kind of power should he have? Oh, he's got the hot throwing ability. Oh. These uh, ranged characters are pretty good when you're fighting some of these guys, especially the spinning guys. You can wait, get out of their way. These armored spinners take a little bit. Trigger Hammy isn't doing that much damage, six per shot, but he's usually pretty good with rapid fire. All right, now we got a new enemy, the Arcane Cracker. He likes to be uh, there's different versions of him, I guess. One one is really easy to beat. The others, or I mean, most of them are very easy to beat. One takes damage like that. I don't know how much damage. Please take it. There we go. All right, let's talk to this Williken. Welcome, stranger. Are you here to see Master Chaos? We serve entire Chaos Clan, though I don't know what happened to rest of them. Master likes to keep big door locked and hire trolls to guard, but we use big button when we want to open it. To get to big button, we use secret passage in the pool. Maybe I'm not supposed to tell you this, all right, so he pretty much lays out the beginning part of the level. Go through the pool, hit the button, get in the castle. All right, that's what we'll do. First thing we gotta do is hit this button. All right, I thought enemies came out. I guess not, we'll talk to this guy. Master Chaos make us drain water from pool after he hire troll guards. Too many of them fall in and not swim. All right. Good thing to know. Why have a swimming pool if the people using it don't know how to swim? Alright, so first thing we'll do is we'll move this all the way over. We have three little different areas we can go. The main area is through Secret Passage. They kind of already told us. Now we're going to try to make this jump to the right side. And not too hard. And this is purely optional, but we're going to do it. 
Um, this is a Sky Stones match, and we're gonna have three of those today. But let's talk to him and get that started. Nice jumping, stranger. Do you wish to play a game of Sky Stones with me? Sure. Hooray! This will be fun! Alright, I got some pretty good characters there. Frigid Chompy. You never know with these optional battles if they're going to be tough or not. Sometimes they can be very tough. Um, although I think they typically hide the toughest ones in those characters that you fight in the first few levels before you learn the game and you can't actually play them. You have to replay the level to play those guys. I think those battles are usually tougher. Well, I guess I'll use this guy. I hate to use such a strong guy right off the bat. But he's got the block on the bottom, which I kind of need compared to his look-alike there. Okay, well, now I'm going to have to use him anyway. Do I have anyone with three on the left? Because I might have to take him back. Thought I did. Frigid Chompy. Okay, well I got lucky there. There's three on the left. Oh, I cannot take this frigid chompy. Well, hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. What to do, what to do. I can block him, but then Either one could be taken. Frigid right, chompy. That's what I thought. More frigid chompies. I have nobody with things on the right. So I guess I'll make it hard to take somebody from the middle. And that should be enough to win. Frigid chompy. You win. There we go. Kesington defeated. Stone collected. That's an okay stone, I guess. You good at sky stone, stranger. Maybe next time I win. All right, stone with sky stones. Now we gotta push all these blocks all the way to the left. Obviously, if you don't like sky stones, you don't have to go there and do that one. But this one, I think, is going to get us... Yeah, we're going to get a treasure chest over here. So this is important if you're trying to get all the collectibles. Alright, I'm also going to switch now to a giant. Because we're going to have to do a feat of strength. Alright, so run and jump here to the left. And up. And then pull the chain. We've done this several times now. Maybe once per level, there's a feat of strength with a chest behind it. And then half of those times, it's a chain pulling. A chain pulling thing. Excellent. Good job. All right, she's level 12, 3,000. She's got a good amount of money. I believe we are going to get Ninjini's Soul Gem on this level too, so that's good because I need to I know they need their, uh, oh that was quite a bit of treasure there. They need their final Soul Gem move, I know for sure. Alright, now we can move these blocks to the middle and I'm going to stay a giant for a little bit longer. We're going to need one again here pretty soon. All right, now we just go straight up the middle. <laughs> and uh, let's see, it's maybe not worth it, but you see that spiro thing on top? If we come around to the back, there's a bounce pad over here. 100. 100 extra coins if you want to go get it. But the main goal is to go inside this secret passage. Nope, I guess I should have. Change back to Trigger Happy, so let's do Trigger Happy again. Forgot about this. Where'd he go? Yeah, so cool, so 
All right. We have a tech area here. It's not super hard. But we have a winged sapphire over there to get. Okay. Outside one goes fast. Gotta be careful that one. There we go. Well, there's our winged sapphire. I forget how many we have now. I think we're up to a little 12% discount maybe. So we have six. Alright. Wait, does he need more health? The longer you stay in here, you know, his health goes up. So he's at 310. It takes a while though. So I don't want to spend too long in there, but it's kind of nice. Now, you could go left and right if you want to take the time. Like, over here is food. I might go get that. But otherwise, those bones just hold a few coins. Not worth. Oh, I got lucky. Almost lost my hundred to go get that. Alright, now we'll switch back to a giant. One of the benefits of using a giant on this kind of part is they can't be hurt by the barrels. So if we walk up and do nothing. What? Oh, that's a spiky barrel. My bad. A lot of times, the giants just destroy the barrels and don't take damage. So, a lot of times I like to use the giants to go on the barrel levels like that. Alright, now we just have to push these blocks into their holes. It's really not that complicated. If the arrows tell you to push, just keep pushing. Push it one more time. And into there. Holes there. Throw some bones. Yeah, five coins. Not really worth it. Alright. Notice this here. That's there's a giant jump up there we're gonna have to do. Alright, so watch these spikes. Telling there's holes in the blocks. And that lowers the bounce pad for us. Alright, now we want to bounce to the left. Like this. Notice this path over here. The boys just bounce straight up and they get to level. But you can see there's a path over here. If we take it, there's our giant jump spot. Just hit the Y button. Reveal your secret. And we'll find the secret area. Again, I thought there's enemies down here. No, just a bunch of bones. Now, when there's that many bones, it might be worth breaking them up getting a few extra coins. Maybe not. I'm not hiding very high value coins in those. Alright, but this gives us our first hat of the level. It's pretty ugly. I don't know what that is. A princess hat. I don't even think Ninjini wants to wear that one, so we won't worry about that hat. can leave this zone via this arrow and we're right back here. <laughs> now if we go on this side, get some extra gold, not too much, but we can't do anything from there. <laughs> Gotta jump all the way up to the top. Now there's Ninjini Soul Gem. The boys see that. This level likes to tease you a lot. Boys try to figure out well, how do I jump all the way over there? Well, we can't do it, so we'll get it later. It's just not something we can get right now. And we'll listen to what this guy says. Almost made it through the secret passage. Don't 
Telmaster Chaos is here, though. Supposed to be Williken secret. We like secrets. Yes, the sneaky Williken and their secrets. Alright, now we're on this cliffside terrace. Now, it doesn't look like you can fall off the end here, but I believe you can. Look at that. Purely optional. Get you a little bit of treasure right here. I don't know, 200 maybe? Over 100, maybe near 200. <laughs> That's it, nothing special down there. That's a chompy. I don't know what they're doing there. Alright, if you notice now, <laughs> as we come up this way, we have a magic area. There's our start. That's where we started down there. Alright, we'll talk to this guy. This is part of grounds that Willigan not allowed to go. Supposed to be magic inside. Master Chaos talk about special hat there too. Maybe you can find this. Anyone else think, think it's strange that all these Willigan have the same voice? <laughs> but this maybe not. This place is strong with magic. <laughs> oh, they all are carved out of the same piece of wood, I guess. All right, we got these little egg switches. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but we need to hit that one and then be nice to cross all the way across, but we can't. We gotta take these blocks. And push them around. Actually, the first thing I'm gonna do is push them kind of where that one was. There we go. And now, oh, gotta go past the bridge I just made. We're trying to make a bridge that once we flip this egg timer thing, are gonna raise them up again. There we go. Now we can cross and grab our second treasure chest. Oh yeah, quite a lot of money for Ninjini now. This version, let's switch her off. Put the other one on for a little bit. Any last wishes? Gonna need to buy soul gem power for each of them. Yep, she's getting close. All right, so now we're moving these blocks, I think into the center. I'll have to look at the other side. I don't believe there's another secret. Oh, I think I remember. We will have to move them over again, but first we need to get across. There we go. So now they're lined up in the center. We need this hat here. Um, you only have a few seconds once these raise up, so gates started right away. They're gonna fall back down. Get rid of these grenadier bomb trolls or whatever. Not too hard. That unlocks another bounce pad. Some extra bonus treasure over there. Let's see, we have to move the blocks over one more time. There we go. Now we can get our hat. And we luckily have another one of these egg switches here. And there's our hat. Second hat of level. Is it going to be better than the princess hat? Hmm. It's okay. Graduation hat. Lots of elemental power to that one but we're not gonna wear that. All right, that's it for the magic area. Back out, and I think I'm gonna switch back to trigger happy for a little bit. Mine, 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 mine,
Now, this was pretty easy. The boys saw that there, but for whatever reason, they didn't want to jump up here. I don't think. can't remember. But that's our Luckatron wheel, and it's an experience-based one, which I think is the most important. It's the most important for me, because we have like 30 to 50 Skylanders that can be used in Giants, and that's a lot of Skylanders if you want to level them all up. Alright, do all that before you jump down here. Once you jump down here, I don't think you can go back up there. And we can take on these chompies. A little bit of a arena-esque type battle here. You could use a giant if you wanted. You see these rocks. These rocks are available for throwing. And if you're happy, you need some more power. Oh, took major damage. Look at that. I don't know, am I playing this on hard too? The boys are playing on hard. And man, you just take so much damage after a couple of hits. I don't remember the other games being like that. Oh, we leveled up. That's gonna help. Alright, we got a troll stomper. Hide behind the rocks, but giant smooth. Oh, I thought I could throw the gold over it. I can't. Only 33 damage. Something tells me this might take a while. We got a grenade throwing troll behind us, too. Oh, and you take massive damage from the grenades. I'm gonna try to give the grenade guy a... Whoa! Run away from those rockets. Alright, get rid of the grenade guy. Whoops! Don't stand in front of the rockets. There we go. Well, we opened up the bounce pad even though we didn't kill this last troll. That's weird. We finished him off. Leave no troll standing. That's my motto. Alright. Here, notice the coin's going down. This makes it a little easier to know that there's a secret area down here. And it's our scroll. Once again, slightly hidden. Usually they're out in the open. Story scroll. Squirreling versus hiding. All right. Though chaos demands that all treasure found by his drilling machine, Drill X, be turned over to him, some say that Drill X may have squirreled away some of that treasure for himself. Others say that he hid it. Then others say that squirreling away and hiding are pretty much the same thing. In any case, Pay special attention to the floors when you visit his big rig. Alright, so that's a nice little clue for Drill X's level, I guess. Let's go in here. Now we found our soul gem. That's how we get it. New power unlock dazzling enchantment. Alright, let's preview. <laughs> Trigger Happy's laugh is pretty funny. Alright, now we can bounce back up. Oh, I missed. Bounce back up slightly to the left. There's a little 
gap right here. Sometimes you can go over, a lot of times you can't. All right, we finally made it to the big red button. And the door to the castle is open. We can talk to him again. He'll congratulate us for opening the door. Good job, stranger. Now you may go inside castle. Have a nice time in there. Pretty friendly. All right, tech is strong in here. Well, good thing I'm figure happy then. We're getting a plus three for our six. So 50%, I don't know if it's always 50%, but right now, 50% extra damage because we're in a tech damage zone. Whoa. Still hurts though when you take a hit. Oh, I didn't even tell me what that took. Well, trigger happy. Does not have good defense maybe. Yep, you get a plus 50% on gold cost too. Oh, more of these guys. Running from me. Where are you going? I don't have the uh, uh oh, time to switch. Woo! That was quick. Alright, tech is strong, but tech is also weak. Let's try chill. How strong is chill? I'm curious. Oh, light core, that helps. that it? Nope, here comes more. Enemies just keep coming. We can see Chaos and maybe his mother there. A young Chaos with hair. I love the pictures in this level. I think it's pretty funny. 118, yep. There's another picture of Chaos in college or something. Alright, we're gonna have to get giant power here because we have grenades. We have a, we just have a ton of stuff going on right now. Still in some danger. Let's get a crusher out here. Time to do some damage. It's crush hour. Oh, he almost. That would have been funny if he spawned outside the gate. Get around it. Oh, he's safe again. Comp that troll. Alright, that troll needs to come down here. Oh, another one. Holy cow. Oh, man. I'm not very good at fighting these guys. I lost Crusher. I thought I just had a couple more hits left. Okay. I like you prison break. You like core? The beam is supreme. That should finish him off, right? Boom. Oh my. 
This is not an easy level for damage. I wonder if I'm on expert or something. Seems pretty vicious. This guy come down never? No? Alright, well the gate is down, so we can move on. Once again I've lost the no lives lost check mark. Never a big deal to me, but let's talk to this guy. Master Chaos loves locks. This door has two. Must go left and right path to unlock. Many buzz saws and traps each way. Master Chaos loves those even more. All right, well, let's go left first. Notice these blocks here. You can push them. And it opens up a little pathway, some treasure, but also Quite the place Auric. our man Chaos has here. So what would you care to purchase this day? Unfortunately, he doesn't have anything interesting in this store. Um, maybe that's an important Skystone for straight down, but I don't know. You could buy a cheat if you wanted. But really, nothing here. No light bulb, no extra level. Not a real reason to come over here. You'll probably have to come over here for all areas found, but nothing really in his store today. All right. Back to the left side again. Make sure he can't sit. Get rid of that chair. Talk to this guy. Master's family used to make own soda. Flavors were sand, mud, and radioactive suction eel. Did not sell well. Some left in those barrels, though. Can drink if you like, but don't recommend. Yeah. go up there we have another giant area uh, we're working on this ninjini any last wishes and we'll push this over I believe another treasure chest is over here yep should be the third one I think Now, later in the game, these treasure chests get worth, I think, more and more, so. That was almost 300 coins, I think. That's not bad. See, she can walk right through these barrels. I don't know why she takes damage at other times. But, typically, giants walk right through the barrels. And guess what? A gate that's locked means sky stones. Do you come to see the master? He and Troll Friend are very nearby. Button over there helps open door to their chambers. But you must play me at sky stones first, then button. All right, this is not optional oh, sky good. stones. I not played in long time though. Not since master's mother played with me. I think that means he's going to be easy. I do not have an undead one. Why is that always the case? Alright. Guy. Boom feed. Yeah. 
Frog Wanderer. Ah. Bunch of those guys, that's for sure. Archean Jouster. Trog Wanderer. This is undead. You win. We still won. I bet we get the undead stone. What do you think? Stone collected. Yep. Ooh, it's a little a little better, maybe. Good play. Even better than Master's Mother. You can use button now. Sweet All right. success. One side of the door is open. And there's our fast travel point, our teleporter back to the middle. Now we can go to the right side. This was sewing room for Master. Never see him sew anything, though. Must be other Willikin who do the sewing because he sometimes sends one of us here, but only when we do something wrong. Well, this is not a sewing room I'd want to be in if you made a wood. Skylanders of the tech element are stronger in this zone. Aww. Oh. We have to hit this button here. Not too hard. Now we need to get rid of these blocks. Push button again. And that gives us a different path. Now we can push this block down. And if we come over here to the right, this is a special area. Way down here is the treasure chest. Pretty easy to miss since it's off screen and you see that door, but don't forget to come down here to get it. The last one. Mm, yes. Lots of money for Ninjini. 500 maybe? All right. We can talk to him or just go through the door. Hi, oh no, wait. Wanna play Sky Stones? Oh, I really hope so. That's right, we have to play Sky Stones to get through this door. Yay! Sort of optional, but not really if you want to collect everything. Droll Lance Master. Mm, he's got better Lance Masters. We don't have a life stone. So guess what? We're a win. Although Hopefully we win. Archean Jouster. Drow Archer. Armor Chompy. Inhuman Shield. Ooh. Wow, that was rather fortunate of us. Jouster. Ooh. Interesting. Wow. Huh. Can't take the Joe. He'll probably take my armor chompy. It doesn't matter which one I use, so Boom let's feet. hope he can't take it from the top. In oh, but he can! Shield. Wrong corner. I think we just lost. Unfortunate. Alright. So let's remember he can do stones. He can take from the top easily, so we'll try to Try again with that in mind. Inhuman shield. All right. 
just like before. Whoops. Archean Jouster. Inhuman Shield. And now he's using them. He also has Drill Lance Masters with left and top Archean Jouster Goliath Drone Oh man <gasps> That kind of stinks but at the same time we can take that drone How many of those does he have, though? Draw Archer. All right, this is looking a little better. We might lose one of these two. I think I'm gonna place this one. There's no way he can take him. That should that should make us win for sure. D Riveter. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Woo! We lost one, but we got it back. Stone collected. Yep, that's what I figured. We get the life stone that we saw in that match. It's fun because you beat me. Yeah. I foresaw this outcome. Now we can go through this door, which is important. Because it gets us our legendary treasure. Dragon engine. Mm, yes. We should probably check out our ship and uh, outfit it a little bit. I haven't done it in a while. All right, so that's the man cave. That area is done. We just have to come back here, flip this button one last time, and then make our way out to the left side. And carefully make our way through these. Oh, there's spikes here. I'm dead. Nope. Oh, got lucky. Guess you can't do anything if the spikes get you, but. Yep. Gotta wait. Man, the genie is slow. Probably a better strategy would be to take a. Uh, Range Skylander, shoot some of those things away. All right. Skylanders of the magic element are stronger in this zone. <laughs> Push that down. Simple block puzzle, really. There we go. Push it again. I foresaw this outcome. I think that's everything. Hit the button. Door is unlocked. Does he say something different now? You do it! You go through door to see Master Chaos now. Hope he's not so angry anymore. Very mean to troll friend. All right. All areas found. So if they flash, don't stand on them, like that. And I really don't want to use Ninjini for this battle, so let's go with, uh, let's go with Jetback. I need a little bit of ranged attack on this level. Well, apparently he's got the bowling pin hat on. Whoop, almost fell that way. We're going to enter what is basically an arena battle. Well, well, Skylander. Don't 
you know it's rude to stop by unannounced? But foolishly, you have stumbled right into my family's ballroom dance floor of doom! Big hit at family reunions. Much as I'd love to stay and witness your demise, I have a giant drill to attend to. But I leave you in good hands. Brute! Show the Skylanders some hospitality. Let's dance! Arena Bow, get rid of that life spell punk as soon as possible. Now you sort of have to balance attacking and watching for um, the falling floor. Try to get some of them to fall in it. No! Well, me tricking them is not working too well. Okay, now they're trapped. <laughs> oh, I fell. Alright. Be greedy. They're confused now, though. They don't know what to do. Alright. Ah, uh, they're coming on both sides of me now. The spinning guys, the grenade guys. The grenade guys are dangerous. We saw that. 160. Okay, now I'm getting them to fall off. Oh no! They bounced right toward me. Oh, I'm knocking them back. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha! That's probably gonna glitch on me. You watch. They won't die. I won't be able to get them. Alright, life spell punk. Take him out first, always. Oh, a bunch of grenades. Just keep moving. I'll do some damage there. grenades to take out their own guys. Oh, look at that. They were smart. They backed off. I can suck them in, though, with my gun, so... <laughs> Don't think you're safe. Yeah, sure, I'm gonna glitch and get something stupid. I'm just getting warmed up here! Increase the pain! I saw Shadow underneath like he's still alive. Oh... Food, yay! Look, the crowd is cheering for me. Ah, oh, come on! There you go. want to get back to win. Why is this guy shooting so short? It's like these rockets are not even close to damaging him. Oh! Massive damage from the mace. Got lucky there. I can't push this guy. I want to push him in the in the water, but I can't push him. Jevex also in danger of losing. That's okay. I guess I don't care. He's probably gonna lose. We'll use him as long as we can. Unless I get some food. Oh, mace trolls everywhere. Run. Oh, too many. I'm just hoping one leaves me a little bit of food. There's some. There's some food. Oh, look at that level up at the perfect time. 
destroyed all of the chasing me trolls. Don't punk out here, I didn't even see him. Alright. Dead back with a remarkable comeback. Think you can take any more punishment? Let's find out. Time to fight Brock. Alright, did me a name in Jawbreaker? But he sounds like Brock. He acts like Brock. He's pretty much just Brock too, in my opinion. I don't need the food yet. Oh, look at these spell punks trying to save him. Not happening. Leaving that food in the center until I need it. There's another spell punk. No way. Take that food. Oh, I got bit by a chompy. He's blocking. I, I guess I can suck food in too. Come on, punch me, punch me. There we go. Shoot him in the butt while he's laying on the ground. Look at all these spell punks. Not. Oh yeah. How did he die? You may have defeated me, Skylander. You'll never stop Master Chaos. He has an ingenious plan to get that iron fist of Arcus. Then he'll rule Skylands. Then he can finally take me fishing. There we go. No lives lost, not happening, but that's okay. I always say that for the speed runs. If you're doing a speed run, typically you can do no lives lost. Uh, for the tough battles, like where I did lose a life, when you do a speed run, you want to definitely save your strongest, most powerful Skylander to wipe those enemies out quick. Um, that becomes your major uh, challenge in the speed run, is getting rid of those groups of enemies fast. Other than that, you just switch to a Skylander that can travel fast. Uh, Skylanders with good dash attacks usually are what I use for that. Alright, well we found everything in this level. Got all the collect uh, collectibles. Pretty good. We got Ninjini's Soul Gem. So this overall was a very good level um, for us, for me today. So I can build up these final Skylanders. Got a lot of money, a lot of extra treasure it seemed like. So pretty fun level. Uh, I like this one a lot. So all right, well, let's continue on and see what ending cutscene we have today. So sorry we couldn't help you out down there. Callie and I looked for another way in, but we must have taken a wrong turn or something. We? You know, Callie, it takes two to get lost. One to actually get lost, and the other to notice. Anyway, we did find out where Chaos was going. A giant drilling rig way out in the middle of nowhere. He must plan on drilling down to the lost city of Arcus. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get to that rig. Oh, yeah, right. I have to drive. All right. We got a couple things to do here. Um, let's paint our ship or whatever. It's been a while since we looked at it. Alright, we have the normal engine. Well, we just got this engine, the dragon engine. That looks pretty cool, so let's put that on. Oh yeah. Then we have our standard masthead, that's kind of boring. We got the skull one, that's pretty cool, let's put that on. Uh, we got all the paints, look at that, all the paints. Starry Night, Floral Reef, Yeah, I don't like that one. Stripes Ahoy, eh, that's pretty cool. And fire sale. Ooh, yeah. I'll stick with the blue and red. And we're getting a theme here. Standard roof, propeller roof. I don't really like that. Let's try this eagle roof. That's all right. I'm guessing we have a dragon roof coming or something. That might be cool. These two themes might look interesting. So 
All right, back out of here. Nah, we're good. We'll see plenty of the ship. See right there, it looks pretty cool. The other thing we need to do is we got that Luxtron wheel. Experience wise, like these guys do not gain experience in this game easily. So we're gonna replace the wealth with the experience. We got three experience wheels, that's pretty good. Hopefully that starts leveling us up quickly. Jetpack still level nine. All right, well, I guess that's going to do it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. That was Chapter 9, Chaos's Castle. I hope I helped you find things. Maybe you didn't quite know how to get them. Uh, if you went through that level and went, wait a minute, I saw this whole gem. Why didn't I get it? Um, now you might know. Um, plus Legendary Treasure, kind of like that in the same boat. If you don't like playing Sky Stones, you're going to miss that one collectible there that we had to get, the Legendary Treasure. So... You know, sometimes you have to play those things to explore the level completely. So, all right, until next time, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying Skylanders. Leave us a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you soon.